Hello, Pipe Smokers. This is Ron Ringo calling in from New York City. Today is a special day. Um, I have uh, something, uh, I don't know if it's ever, I'm going to have to put my pipe down because um, it's such a special day that I'm not going to have time to smoke it, so I didn't even, I didn't even fill it up. But th what this is, I'll tell you, it's a mid-century Erica, pretty rare. I've never seen a, a briar pipe like this kind of in the a, in a shape of a, a teardrop or not a teardrop, uh, an hourglass. It's really, really neat. So anyway, this is what I would be smoking, well, if I wasn't so busy today. So I'm gonna try to not run too much time, but uh, here we go. So today I have a quadruple yabo. <laughs> I'm so excited. So before we start, my previous uh, video that I installed uh, yesterday or two days ago, it was probably yesterday, uh, was uh, to give you a little glimpse of uh, a little bit of, of who I am. Uh, I'm a, an, an eccentric uh, art collector. Uh, and in the previous one, it says the drawing room. Check it out, guys. It's pretty fun. Give me an idea of what I collect. Uh, so behind me is a fantastic museum painting that I lent out to two museums already. Uh, it's called uh, The Artists or The Clayton Brothers. And the, the image, the painting is called Sensing Needs. And uh, this is just as bizarre. This is a, uh, it's a real plant. It's called uh, Alocasia Amazonica. If you see those two hairless rats in the background, it's my Mexican Cholo Squintlies. So let's uh, let's start off with um, with one of these boxes. So I'm going to start off with the first one I got today, and I got four other ones today, uh, three other more today. Um, so I'm going to start off with the the lesser of the the the, the link, uh, which is they're all fantastic, but let's start off with one that's um, with one that's a um, uh, a no-brainer. Anyway, so, and I am using, as traditionally as you guys do for Yavos, I'm, I'm using a knife. And I'm using a military-issued knife that, uh, that I decided to use uh, during my Navy combat medic days. And uh, I didn't stick anybody with it, but I enjoy using it. <laughs> so, here we go. This is a box that, uh, another a, a purchase that I won on eBay, and this is uh, this this whole collecting things on a uh, on this pipe community is kind of fun. As you can tell, I love collecting things. All right, so put that over there. This is another tobacco tin box, and as an homage or respect to my Navy days, I bought a really cool Navy tin tobacco box. And it's also over 100 years old. Uh, this one's a little bit more beat up, but uh, it still works. So there it is, Navy tin tobacco box from uh, Gale and Axe Navy Tobacco. It also has the. I gotta, I gotta play around with this thing and make sure that uh, it doesn't fall apart on me. But uh, it also has a little wooden handle and uh, an old lunch pail that I'm gonna convert back into its original purpose, which is to hold tobacco. So that's the lesser one of the four. Two. Box number two. Box number two is going up. Ah, let's do box number two at. Uh, Funny story today, I had to go pick up uh, a box from the post office. The other three I didn't because uh, this one unfortunately required a signature and, uh, and I had to go to uh, my local post office and pick it up. So behind this bulletproof grass was a 
uh, Puerto Rican postal worker, and, and she was going like this. I said, what's the matter? You hot or something? Because on the other side, it's freezing over here. She's like, nah, this shit stinks. What the hell you smoking? I said, no. Nah. Well, if you ask, I'm telling you, I'm not smoking no other than J.M. Boswell. <laughs> and the shit does stink. But it smells amazing when you open up out of the box and it tastes really good. So, this shit stinks. Sorry. Puerto Ricans in uh, the post office, I guess, don't like smoking uh, J.M. Boswell's. <laughs> so, I'm going to open this thing. No offense to the Puerto Rican community. I love them. I live with them. They're good people. They just don't like stinky tobacco from J.M. Boswell's. Man, this shit stinks! <laughs> Alright, so, now I ordered some tobacco as well. Uh, I, my favorite, 4 ounce Little Bite Delight. I got uh, 2 ounces of Maple Leaf. I got some Softy Bits. Ooh, I got some interesting tins in here that I forgot that I bought. Let's see. Ooh, take off the price. Eh, it doesn't matter. So it's $13.95 for a uh, Samuel Galworth full Virginia Flake, which I'm starting to get into Englishes, but uh, this stuff is pretty strong, and uh, I'm starting to like it, um, but I still like, I still like, uh, aromatics, but this is a good introduction for me for uh, English blends. And I like it. I smoked it before. And the other one, which is a cross blend, I guess, it's also Samuel Galworth, and it's uh, Chocolate Flake. If you guys have tried this, uh, let me know. Uh, and what should I do? Should I keep it in the tin or leave it out for a couple months or, you know, or, you know, stick it in a plastic bag, whatever. Just let me know about this and how I should tin it. Uh, store it and I got a pipe and I got a pipe so let's see let's see let me put it together <laughs> 